hi guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video is going to be my eyeshadow palette rotation so if you guys are interested what i'm going to pick up this time then just keep on watching So for those of you new to my channel, my name is Princess and I do a lot of beauty content. Today, I wanted to share with you guys what are the progress of these five eyeshadows I did pick last time. So let's go started. I am going to put the other stuff on the side first. First, this one this is the Huda Beauty Love Fest. Um, they put this one as a limited edition at Sephora website. But I didn't have a chance to use this one at all because I was busy and I do have a lot of new eyeshadow palette that I have that I did buy throughout the March to April. So this one I am going to rolling in this one this time because I really wanted to use all these mattes here, how they are, especially all of this kind of, um, what do you call this, shimmers. Very kind of flaky shimmers so I'm going to rolling in this one so I'm going to put this one on the side first next I am going to share with you guys this one this is the elf cosmetics bite size in the rose water I did hit pan on the end eyeshadow here I did use this palette for two times and usually I use this three and then Darken it up the outer corner so I finally hit pen. Eyeshadow pen that I did pen this year. So if you guys are following me on my Instagram, I'm going to post this one soon. Um, I will tell that this is the first pen that I hit pen this year. And I'm planning to use most of this because you guys can see it does have a little bit of dent here. This two here, the shimmers. And these ones are really like really soft shimmers that I really like. I, it is very everyday makeup look friendly. Um, that's why I like this one. But I'm going to put this one on the side and thinking if I can put this one as a project pan um, palette. So stay tuned for that. Okay, next one. It is the Elf Dunkin' Donut uh, palette. This is the Chocolate Frozen with Sprinkles. And... This one, I did use this one for two times. At first, I did use the um, brown one here with the, I'm going to pick up the Double Entendre Colourpop. This is already discontinued. And I did pick this one because I really like to use the brown ones here and then the lighter shade because these ones are all shimmers. So I need to add it up or combine those two together. So first, I did use this one right here with this one. And then the second uh, eyeshadow uh, look that I do I did is this um, shimmer right here with the right here just the lightest color so that's why i need this two together um unfortunately i don't have a picture on some of the um looks that i did because i'm always in a hurry we're always going out like do errands and um going out somewhere <laughs> that's why i don't i didn't have time to take pictures but i did really um enjoy this palette and then the next one actually um i didn't use the um brown one over there i just realized i did use this um kind of pink shimmer with this makeup revolution into the night palette i did use this one right here the vanish this with with this that's why it is very nice it is kind of more of a soft makeup look that i did and i top it up with um the milk makeup lipstick the wave wavy the wave or the wavy um lipstick with the um la colors lip liner which is really nice i like this combination the vanish and the this one right here am i gonna pull this two next time just to get this 
um, combination, this two shades here. And then I think I did use this one also, but I'm not sure. I think I did too, the Eerie right there. Um, I did only use this palette once though, so yeah. The last palette for the um, eyeshadow palette rotation is this Troublemaker from Colourpop. I believe this one came out last year and I believe also it is already um, restocked. So I just check on their website if it's already there. Um, last time I did check, it's still there. So this one, it is very nice, rosy, purplish, cold tone. Um, at first, I am kind of hesitant to use this one. I did do um, one makeup look, but I did wear it twice. So first, I did wear... I did put this one, the Friday Night, and then Zero Fs. And then I put this one in the middle, the Messy, and then top it up with Real all over. And I'm going to show you guys the picture. I did try it twice so that I can just put a picture here <laughs> to let you guys know it is very nice palette. I did have fun using the this four shades here. And this is a really nice eyeshadow palette. I feel like this is a very unique eyeshadow palette that I did buy from ColourPop. And that's why it is always um, out of stock too. So if you see this one, pick it up because it is very nice um, palette story. So yeah. Now let's move on to the um, pick the number for the next eyeshadow palettes that i'm going to i'm going to pick only four palettes at this time because we're going to keep the huda beauty still and also i didn't um, update my list because i have a lot of new eyeshadow palettes so i haven't um put all the new palettes yet on the list maybe i'll do that next time and update you guys how many <laughs> new eyeshadow palettes i did buy for two months so let's go started i am going to i have one to 176 now let's go um write it down what do we have in here first number 57 number six 89 and then last one is 131 i am going to pick the um eyeshadow palettes and i'll show you guys what they are and our fifth um eyeshadow palette it is the 150 which is the huda beauty um love fest so i'll be right back guys so okay i'm um, going to share with you guys the eyeshadow palettes now first i'm not going to swatch this one anymore i did it last time this is the love fest huda beauty and hopefully i can do makeup looks on this one this time so yeah i'm going to press this one now first palette it is number 57 this is the dubious place the saharan palette so here it is um, I did buy this one for $5 in their website and I only used it a couple of times because of the oranges here are kind of different compared to the shimmers here. It's kind of, I feel like um, all of my makeup looks are will be the same um, color story but the shimmers here are very nice so I'm going to swatch this one right here. The Sokoto. And then the next one, I'm just gonna compare this one. This is the Jamila. So, looking at in the palette, they are kind of the same. But this one, it is the Sokoto, it is much more peachy. And the Jamila, it is much more orangey, warm orange. And then we're gonna go to the um, shimmers now. 
first, I am going to check this one. The Kia. Then next one is Fula. And then lastly is um, this one. Wodabe. So here they are. Next palette, it is number six. It is the ColourPop Garden Variety Palette. I did put this one on my Color Pan 2.0 Project Pan. So I am going to use it so that we have a multiple Project Pan to use this palette. I really love this palette because it is very spring to summer color story. And you guys can see how they are. My favorite colors are here green purples peachy colors so yeah and i will just swatch the ones that i really like best buds smudge off and then synergy this is very nice shimmer top stopper And then, of course, I'm going to swatch some of the, um, what do you call this, mattes. We don't have much mattes here, but I am going to swatch this Stuck On You and Sucker For You. A matte that has shimmers in it. So here they are. Next palette, it is number 89. It is the LA Girl Nudie Cutie Palette. I did buy this one last year with the best bestie something. So here it is. It is very a big palette. And then here they are. We do have a big mirror here if you guys can see it so i'm just gonna um, swatch this one right here i don't know their names so they are kind of foil shimmers next we can just grab some of the shades here a brown one and the kind of warm brown and then lastly this one right here wow you guys can see it that's a very nice kind of shimmer like flaky shimmer <laughs> so here they are This eyeshadow palette, it will be a great palette to um, make a soft makeup looks, more neutrals. I cannot wait to use some of this and the other eyeshadows on this palette. So let's move on. The last palette, it is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Bite Size in Truffles. I did buy this one last year because I wanted to try this one. I'm kind of more of a exploring some of cool tones. So this one, it is much more of a silvery cool tone. And I think this one looks like kind of similar to the ColourPop, um, what do you call that pa um, palette? Um, I'm going to put it here, but it looks like kind of like that. It's like kind of the quad that they had last time. I feel like that one is already discontinued. These are very rich brown dark color. More of a smoky color shades. So here they are. And that's it for you guys. I hope you guys did like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and see you on my next eyeshadow palette rotation update and thanks for watching bye